Miss Spalding Trance channel here today for our daily Course in Miracles lesson together. Thank you for joining me again today. Today we are doing lesson number 323. I gladly make the sacrifice of fear. Here is the only sacrifice you ask of your beloved son. You ask him to give up all suffering, all sense of loss and sadness, all anxiety and doubt, and freely let your love come streaming in to his awareness healing him of pain and giving him your own eternal joy. Such is the sacrifice you ask of me and one I, glad, one I gladly make, the only cost of restoration of your memory to me for the salvation of the world. And as we pay the debt we owe to truth, a debt that, is merely, that merely is the letting go of self-deceptions and of images we worshipped falsely, Truth returns to us in wholeness and in joy. We are deceived no longer. Love has now returned to our awareness and we are at peace again for fear has gone and only love remains. And that is our lesson for today, lesson number 323. I gladly make the sacrifice of fear. Let's see what Jesus has to say to us today. You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus and your minds are your greatest assets or they are your greatest liabilities. They are the same thing being used properly, correctly or incorrectly. When you are driving along in your car and you are thinking about something, you are using your mind incorrectly. We would like you to be driving along in your car, paying attention to the present moment. That means that you are looking where you are going. It means that you are paying attention to how you are feeling, your hands on the steering wheel, the comfort of your body in the chair. If you are waiting in your uh, car at a traffic light or whatever it is, be observant about what is going on. Do not drift off into your mind ruminating on a problem. This is generally what happens? Most of you are not ruminating on what you would like. You are ruminating on what you don't want. It could be the anticipated argument you're going to have with your beloved when you get home. It could be the comment that the co-worker made earlier on in the day that's been bothering you all day. It could be many things. But these are the incorrect uses of the mind. What we want you to understand is that relentless thinking of what is not going on at this moment is a waste of your time. Now we are not speaking about the conscious envisioning of a future you might like to experience, although even that is often driven by the ego's desires. We are speaking about the general thinking that goes on, the thousands and thousands of thoughts that you have every day about what you don't want or about what you're afraid of. This is the incorrect use of mind. Presence is the correct use of mind and it is in presence that you will connect with the love of the divine. That means in presence you are paying attention to what is, you are appreciating what is, you are engaging with what is, not was or what you don't want, but what is, the person sitting right in front of you or the a beautiful view that's in front of you or even the traffic jam that's in front of you. The traffic jam in front of you can be your meditation for today. You say, here I am. I am sitting in traffic and it's hot and my arm is out of the window and I feel like I'm getting a bit of a sunburn, but here I am. And what will happen when you are actually where you are is that you will be given feedback about the situation in which you are you will not be avoiding the situation in which you are and you may very well decide I actually don't like sitting in traffic with my arm getting burnt out of the window. I think I might need to do something about where I work and how I get there. But if you are off ruminating, if you are off imagining, if you are off fantasizing, you are not actually experiencing what is. And this is one of the definitions of the illusory world that is often referred to. 
you are often not where you are experiencing what you are experiencing and so you are not getting the lesson you are not getting the full surround sound experience of your three-dimensional experience and that is how you learn that is how you feel your way through your day actually being where you are actually talking to the people who are in front of you actually feeling your feelings they are guidance. They are telling you something. But so many of you are off somewhere else, distracting yourselves, changing the channel on the radio station because you're bored, talking on the phone, not doing what you are doing. You are multitasking, multi-distracting yourself, and, and you have no idea how you feel about what you're doing. So today, let us do one thing at a time, do it well, Pay attention to it. If it is on your list of things to do today, accept that it is on your list of things to do today and do it thoroughly and with great attention and get every ounce of experience out of that thing that you can. I am that one that you know is Jesus and I will speak to you again tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.